Hey, what's up? I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash review of Daily Goodie Box. I have their link as well as their Facebook page in the description box below, so you can check that out and sign up. It's awesome, and you get a ton of free stuff, and all you have to do is review, and I am going to get started. So... Here is the box. I have like a bunch of stuff in here and I did open it because I want to give a review of the actual products. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this nail polish um, by Trust Fun Beauty. I really like their very sleek packaging. It kind of looks like a paint canvas. And then I got this color. This color is called Center of Attention and it's a water-based nail polish. So you're supposed to be able to easily peel it off and it's not made of like the super toxic ingredients that other ones are made the only issue that i had with this like i love the color i love the way it applied I had a good experience the first day that i painted my nails i felt like it was already kind of starting to come off at the very tip of my nails but on the second day my nail tips were pretty much completely gone yeah i mean it doesn't look too bad like it's not like creating it's not like ha it doesn't have like big chips or anywhere like you know like when nail polish just gets like fully chipped it's like just looks terrible you have to clean it off but this type of nail at this point i can still like just do a little touch up of all the tips and it'll look pretty good again oh and i also just want to add i forgot when i like initially opened that to like put it on my nail there was like this fruity scent and like i can kind of still smell it now <laughs> sorry i just like sniffed really hard um but yeah there's like a kind of like fruity scent to them instead of that like kind of gross um, acetone nail polish from Haldehyde like scent that you normally get. So I got a shampoo and conditioner by Grandpa & Co. They are witch hazel scented so they're supposed to be clarifying the shampoo. It leaves your hair kind of feeling a little bit like waxy or like strandy like straw hair I think is what it's called. And people are supposed to use a, a acidic rinse afterwards. And the conditioner made my hair feel softer and it got rid of that straw hair feeling. It was still kind of there so the conditioner didn't completely smooth it out. And I did leave it in for like probably a few minutes maybe like three to five minutes but afterwards my hair had a lot of volume the conditioner didn't flatten it and that's like the number one thing i look for in like a conditioner like in shower conditioners that it doesn't flatten and it was like a little bit frizzy though so that kind of sucked but i kind of like that because i think a little bit of frizz does kind of give more volume these and i really love the smell of them and i appreciate grandpa and co thank you for sending a one ounce bottle of each one so i can actually try them out as opposed to those packet ones because those are like, you use them once and then that's it. This is Tea Pigs Tea. And I got it in the flavor Rhubarb and Ginger. And let me just say, this was like the first tea that I drank. And I was like, oh, like pleasantly surprised. Because normally my sister's like, tea, it tastes like candy. And I'm like, I don't see how that tastes like candy. But this one actually kind of did taste like candy to me. Or mostly zesty with a little bit of sweet. You can even smell it from the container out here. So you just steep it. I steeped it for about eight minutes, even though it says three to five. It wasn't too strong, but it was like really good. So I'm probably going to drink this again today because now I'm like tempted just talking about it. They sent an entire box of That's It bars. I was really surprised because I thought they would just send an individual one, but they sent the entire thing. There's five bars in here, which is awesome. So each bar has one apple and 20 blueberries. This reminds me of a Lara bar, but like it's pretty much the same in terms of chewiness. And I actually really like it. Before I tried this out, I um, watched a video of a girl eating this and she like hated the scent and the flavor of every single one that she tried she tried three different ones but i really like this it smells a little bit more apple than blueberry but i can smell both and it doesn't have like any spices or anything added the only thing is like with this this is good for an on-the-go snack when you're traveling because like it's hard to carry around like a bunch of raw fruit but this is a little bit easier and it's something fruity like a healthy dessert you can chop it up and put in your oatmeal or something let's go with run gum so I tried this out before. I'm pretty sure I got it in Daily Goodie Box, like 99% sure that that's where I got it. So I didn't open this one because I did not like it. It had a very bitter taste to me, even though this is like a minty flavor. Um, so it has caffeine, taurine, and B vitamins. It is sugar-free, zero calories. It does have the typical gum ingredients, but it doesn't have any artificial flavor. It just has natural mint flavor. So you chew one tablet for moderate energy or two, two tablets for maximum energy. Do not exceed eight. So yeah, I just didn't like the bitter taste that it had, but I feel like that's expected and it's a little bit difficult to add um, caffeine without creating like that caffeine taste. I got this energy drink. This is actually a Mike Tyson edition and it's supposed to be in the flavor, what was it again? Mojito. Uh, this is loaded with sugar, like 28 grams of sugar for this can and it has 
artificial flavors, which is why I did not want to drink this. Now to contrast those two energy things, we have a sleep. So this is a 100% natural uh, sleep aid. It's supposed to be used short term. So it has lemon balm, passiflora, chamomile is the first ingredient, and then it also has what was it? Hibiscus. The serving size is two capsules each time you're gonna take it, but I took one capsule each night and I feel like it didn't really do anything, but that might be because I didn't take two capsules. Um, and I kind of like that it has a little bit of like a green, like I don't know how to describe it, I would just describe it like a green flavor like when you put it on your tongue, because sometimes like pills taste terrible, but this one actually kind of has like a pleasant taste to me. So this is the Bright Day Freedom from Hangover Capsules. There's one serving per packet, you're supposed to take three, you're supposed to take it one serving before drinking and one after, so I don't drink, so I don't have hangovers. But basically this is just a bunch of vitamins, it has like vitamins and minerals, and it does have their proprietary blend. Their website gives a really nice um, overview of like why they put like certain amino acids. Like for example, they have N-acetylcysteine in here, so like they'll tell you why that is and they will have a research study linked to you, um, so you can read that as well. So I think that that's really cool. Like that they don't just tell you like, oh, this is good for you, you should do it. Like, no, they give you the research to back it up. That was everything inside the box, you guys. You can check out my other unboxings if you're interested, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!